Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting that button down below. Now that the summer months are officially upon us, I wanted to film this quick video and provide you all with five suggestions, recommendations, tips on how to enjoy the warm summer months safely. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, what do you mean by that? Well, stay tuned and you'll know what I mean. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is actually something that you should be doing all year round regardless of the season and the temperature and the weather. Wear SPF. I cannot encourage this enough. Just make it a part of your everyday routine. It is good for your skin. It is good for you. There are so many options out there as far as protecting yourself on a daily basis. I have this tinted SPF 41, so I get a little bit of a, a color. It's not gonna, you know, kind of give that whitish residue. This will blend in with the skin really nicely and provide you with that SPF protection you need. This one is another option that you could use for your face. I obviously grabbed something you've probably seen everywhere just for when you're at the pool or if you wanna protect here during the daytime. There's also another option right here. Obviously I'm not promoting or encouraging any of these brands. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just trying to show you that there are so many options out there and so many ways to keep yourself protected. If you're going to work and putting on makeup, look into options that have SPF mixed into them. This is what I use all the time. I've been using it pretty much in every video I filmed up until this point, I think, nearly every single one. You knock out two birds with one stone here. You get your foundation, you get the color, and you get that SPF 50. Don't forget about your lips consider purchasing some SPF for your lips. I have this chapstick, it's SPF 45. It's kind of a forgotten body part. Your lips can burn from the sun, so you wanna make sure you keep those protected. This is something you might think, oh wow, I did not even consider this at all, but don't forget about your arms. If you're a driver, if you're in the States like I am, this left side is exposed to the sun a great deal. While you're driving, if you have that window down and your arm is there, or even through the glass of your car, you can still get a lot of color. You could possibly expose yourself to some, you know, sun effects. So you just wanna, you know, protect your arms as well. SPF, SPF, SPF. My next recommendation for these summer months, always wear sunglasses. You don't wanna end up squinting in the sun. And to be honest with you, there are some days that are cloudy that you can squint like crazy, arguably more than the days when there are sun out. So I would suggest investing in a pair of sunglasses, keeping them on you at all times so that you can wear them and not squint. Cause you know, you squint, you get wrinkles, keep your eyes protected from the sun and enjoy those summer months without having to squint or without having to create any wrinkles. My next recommendation is geared more for people that happen to get headaches from the sun. If you're the type of person where a strong hot sun beating down on your head could cause you a headache, my suggestion would be to always keep a hat or a cap on hand. Something as simple as a baseball cap that you see right here or something even a little more fashionable and trendier like this, just keep a hat on hand. If you're gonna get a headache from the sun, you don't wanna do that if you can prevent it by wearing one of these kind of options or perhaps something else that you might have in your closet, definitely do that just so that you can enjoy the sun without having a very bad headache. The next suggestion I have for you would be to carry a light scarf or light hoodie with you at all times. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, it's warm out, why on earth would I need a scarf or a hoodie? And while that may be true, when you do enter a mall or an office building or even a train or bus, they're gonna have that air conditioning on full blast and guaranteed within about five, 10 minutes, you're gonna be freezing your tail off. So you wanna be prepared for that. You don't wanna find yourself shivering in the middle of July quite the oxymoron if you ask me, but it does happen. I I am a hot person typically, so I really welcome those nice cold buildings and buses, but if I'm in them long enough, I do get very cold and I do go prepared. I always carry with me this Lululemon vinyasa that you see right here, and I throw this in my bag so that when I am, for example, commuting to work and you know, five, 10 minutes into it, I start to get cold, I can bust this out and stay warm. When I need it, I'll do this, unsnap all these snaps like you see right here, and it kind of turns into a nice little scarf shawl option. 
just you know setting it over my shoulders like so and you just stay nice and warm something that you know you have enough space for to keep on hand at all times in the event that you do go into a building or a bus or a train that happens to be a little colder than what you would be comfortable with you want to be prepared so that you can stay warm and enjoy those summer months without freezing my last recommendation for enjoying these summer months would be to not lay out at the pool or at the beach for an extended amount of time with the goal of getting color. Now don't get me wrong, feeling the sun against your skin is wonderful and we all do need that vitamin D, but too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So if you are going to do it, refer back to my first point and wear that SPF, cover every part of your body that is going to be exposed to the sun. And I didn't say this when I was talking about it initially, but it, it applies there and it applies here. Make sure you reapply it every two hours. It is not a one and done type thing when it comes to SPF. You do need to be very vigilant and reapply it every two hours so that you are continuously being protected from the sun while you are out there. Now, if you are going to lay out, I would suggest you go into the water versus laying out. Now, that is personally what I like to do because first off, you stay cool. You don't end up feeling like you're burning from the sun and flipping like a rotisserie trying to get color from every angle. If you're in the water, you, the sun is hitting you from every angle at the exact same time. The way the sun reflects off the water and onto you actually allows you to obtain a nice, even quicker tan. You can sit in the pool, stay cool, get the light or get the sun rather from all angles hitting you at the exact same time you get a nice even color you are enjoying the coolness of the water as well as the warmth of the sun and then on top of it you can decide to swim you can start working out while you're in the pool and get color at the same time if you are the type of person that loves that laying out feeling i'm probably not going to convert you but just make sure you are applying that SPF and that you are aware of the fact that it should be reapplied every two hours so that you can get the color safely. You don't wanna burn, you don't want to then feel uncomfortable for the next few days because you are burned. If you don't like to lay out or you, or you don't wanna run the risk of any kind of burn, look into self-tanner, that's an option out there. Get the color without having to lay out at all. So that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And make sure to ding that bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.